Hey, what's up? I'm Luke Story, host of the Lifestylist podcast. I'm also a Kundalini yoga and meditation teacher and motivational speaker. And I wanted to uh, make this video just to share my experience with some of the products from Neurohacker Collective because it's something that I carry on my website. It's something that I've recommended to a number of listeners to my show and also just friends and family. So I'm someone who's been into nootropics and smart drugs now for a few years. Uh, after realizing that I, although am quite young and healthy in many ways, I have had some definite cognitive decline for a number of different reasons. I didn't treat my brain so well when I was younger, partied pretty hard in Hollywood back in the day, and sometimes I can get a little bit dim, and uh, running a podcast and doing the things that I do requires that I'm absolutely on point and focused when I need to be. So as I said, a number of uh, years ago, I started experimenting with different compounds and herbs and all types of supplements and even some pharmaceutical nootropics to achieve the desired state, which would be for me uh, on any given day, flow state, the ability to have conversations, to cut videos like this, and also to be able to do creative writing and conceptualize uh, creative ideas for my podcast and videos and various um, content channels that I might be exploring. So my experience with other smart drugs and nootropics has been positive in some senses, uh, but also uh, has come with some side effects. And so I'm always looking for something natural. Now I've taken some very unnatural stimulants and things like that, um, and they've worked in a pinch, you know, jet lag, things like that, a long drive. It's good to be fully awake and ready to do that. However, uh, many of them do come with some side effects. Um, that's more on the pharmaceutical side. So I've always really leaned towards something that's natural, that's plant-derived. And the problem with that is that many of the things that I've tried over the years haven't really been effective. I mean, you might notice, you know, I take some like ginkgo biloba extract, for example, sublingually under the tongue, right? And feel, oh, wow, I think like I'm able to connect the dots a little bit faster. But nothing I've ever done in the natural realm has really floored me to the point where I'm like, whoa, I feel different. What did I take? And so when the first Neurohacker Collective product came around, it was called Qualia. And this was for your brain. This was like a nootropic that was based on um, natural compounds, right? Natural extracts. When I started taking that, it was like the first thing I took that was natural and also had a noticeable effect. And found my sweet spot where I could be creative, be stimulated, be able to think uh, quickly on my feet, but not be too over amped, right? So I kind of found the balance, took a few fewer pills, less coffee, found a way to do it. Uh, then Qualia came out with what I'm talking about now, which is Qualia Mind. So with this one, I think usually I take four to six um, capsules. And since I don't like to swallow a bunch of pills, I actually take my Qualia Mind and I empty them out into a smoothie. And on days where I'm fully rested, and do caffeine, it's still almost a little too stimulating. That's how strong this stuff is. So I was really excited to find out that they put out the caffeine-free Qualia Mind. So now I have it really dialed. I've got my two Qualia Minds, and I take the one with caffeine uh, when I don't want to get too overstimulated, and I take the one without when I want to be more chill. Now, what I've noticed is um, when I'm taking the Qualia Mind, whether it be the caffeine-free or the caffeinated version of it, is that I absolutely not only have more focus, but just more clarity of thought. And since so much of what I do involves um, word recall and memory and being able to track conversations, because either I'm recording a video or a piece of content like this, or recording sometimes a two or three hour podcast, it's really important that I can keep high focus, but also high empathy. You know, And I think that's what's so powerful about the Qualia product is that it's meant to be emotionally uplifting. So it's not just like this sort of sterile, um, you know, unguided focus. There actually is an effect on the neurotransmitters and the hormones which affect your mood. So what I'm looking for is not just focus and being able to crush, you know, a very single focus project per se, like a, a more strong smart drug might be able to help you achieve. But I'm really looking to be able to relate to people and still stay, en stay engaged and also to just have a positive emotional feeling. So I want the focus and creativity. I want the connection with other people. I want that empathy. I want to be in a good mood. I want to be elevated. I want to be a little bit stimulated, but not too much. And these are the things that I've been able to achieve taking Qualia. And something I always look for too, just because I'm very mindful about supplements and different um, 
um, vitamins and things like that that I've been taking over the years. Something that's really cool about these guys is they don't put a bunch of fillers and binders and toxic excipients in their pills or capsules rather. That's something I always ask. Companies hit me up all the time. Hey, we're going to send you a bottle of this. And I'm like, is there magnesium stearate? Do you have fillers, binders? All these things that are less than optimal um, that are just used, to be honest, I think in the industry to make capsules uh, fill easier and stay together. It's just easier when they're actually in the production line. So it's a lot more expensive to create it how these guys are doing, but it is absolutely worth it because I don't like the idea of taking something for my health that is also toxic. So these guys have made a really clean product. Most of the ingredients are organic and the ones that aren't don't need to be because they're not a pesticide laden crop. Um, they're grown in a laboratory, different herbs and things like that. So I'm a super fan. Uh, I took some this morning. It's been quite a few hours, so I don't know if I have it in, in my bloodstream uh, right yet, but I did a two hour interview today sitting right here for my podcast and was very focused, very on point, had great word recall, memory recall. And I know that was partly due to the quality of mine. So that's what I have to say about it. If you want to hear quality of mind in action, you can join me on the Lifestylist podcast, which comes out every Tuesday.